Hey, what's up guys? My name's Casper. I'm a skateboard artist from Melbourne, Australia. And today I'm going to be showing you how to peel your grip without having any of that gunk or glue left over. The skateboards that I make, they're a little bit different. I get secondhand boards, I carve the edges, and I create unique shapes. Right now, you're actually getting a pretty good glimpse into my skateboard wall. It's pretty full at the moment. Choices, choices. Every skateboard is a little bit different. Some grip are horrible to peel off, and some not so much. You'll be learning a few tricks here that'll help you with both. Looks like I'm gonna go with this one. I like the shape. It looks like it might be an eight, maybe a narrow eight two five. So these are the tools you're gonna need. Each are both pretty standard items you can find around the house. A sharp, straight blade, and a hairdryer. Yep, that's all you need. And now it's time for step one. I was actually pretty lucky because the skater before me actually cut a nice straight line down this side of the board. But if you don't have a straight line like this, just start directly from the edges. But the most important part here is how you peel this first bit off. It's gonna determine how the rest of the skateboard goes. So what you gotta do is cut one little bit, continue around until you have a nice clean start, and then you can start peeling. Step two, and it's time for the hairdryer. This is actually gonna help you so much with peeling this grip off, and it's something I've just learned along the way. If you get a hairdryer, heat up every bit that you're about to peel off. It actually makes that glue nice and soft, sort of like not as tacky as it usually is. So you can peel away and it's much, much smoother. I have a no-brainer tip here for all you guys looking to paint the board afterwards. Just stay to the end of the video and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. Man, let me just say, this is a pretty sweet place to work. I'm in a place called Blender Studios. It's located in Melbourne, Australia. This is a communal art space with about 25 other insanely talented artists. My love for art all began through skateboarding when I was around 13 years old. Later I found graffiti when I was about 15 and I've just sort of tied the two things together. The carving style you see here is pretty new though. I've been doing this for just over a year now and as you can see I've become pretty obsessed with it. Check out this one shape. It's probably actually one of my favorite ones. I went in really deep into the board here and uh, it just has like a really nice flow to it. Okay, now let's get back to the board. So here we go again. We're just gonna copy that same technique we did at the first part. We peel the first little bit up, follow it along to have a nice little starting edge and then continue all the way down. Oh crap, see now this is what you don't want. Don't make the amateur mistake and keep pulling on the grip. Get your knife, pull back on that little imperfection. And there you go, you're ready to roll again. And once you have a decent amount of the grip peeled, just work your way to the ground. Chuck your foot on that skateboard and use your body weight. You will find it way easier. And now here comes the therapeutic part. And as I mentioned before, keep the grip tape as you peel it off. And this is why. All you gotta do is cut it down into little squares, and there you go, you have sandpaper. Nice and easy, nice and quick, and uh, I guess anyone can do it. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you like what you saw. I actually paint a whole bunch of skateboards and show all the different processes that I use, so if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like it, subscribe, and uh, continue on. So thanks again, much love, and I'll see you on the next one.